Now, a story we brought you first on WKRG, the backlash against Confederate symbols and monuments being felt in Pensacola today. Overnight vandals hit Lee Square just weeks before the city council is set to vote to rename the park. WKRG.com mobile journalist Daniel Smithson has the details. The paint splattered and sprayed on the Confederate monument at Lee Square in downtown Pensacola has been cleaned up, but those who vandalized it still face charges. The Pensacola Police Department is investigating the vandalism of the Confederate monument off North Palafox Street near downtown Pensacola. Police say they are keeping a close eye on city monuments after the calls for their removal across the country. Well, I can't get into the strategies that we use around those monuments, but I can tell you that they are looked at, they are monitored 24 hours a day. More than 20,000 people have signed an online petition calling for the removal of the monument at Lee Square. The Pensacola City Council will vote July 14th on whether to remove it. Pensacola Mayor Grover Robinson issued a statement Tuesday morning expressing his distaste for the vandalism. His statement in part says, I don't expect everyone in Pensacola to agree. In fact, I've always believed that diversity and differences are what make a community great. What I do expect from our citizens is mutual respect, even through disagreements. You can be angry, you can be upset, you can be passionate, but it's against the law to deface public property. Pensacola resident Brad Griner watched the city workers finish cleaning up the monument Tuesday afternoon. He says he wants the monument to stay. It's childish, man. It's like a little bunch of little elementary kids that came out here and don't know nothing about what's going on and just want to tear it up. PPD says they're still investigating. Reporting in Pensacola, I'm Daniel Spitzen, WKRG News 5.